Ape from 1976, a South Korean slash American co-production film that was made to cash in on the Dino De Laurentiis King Kong remake of the same year. The way Ape is spelled in the movie stands for Attacking Primate Monster. Yes, they couldn't be bothered to find a word that started with E. Anyway, the movie is about a 36 foot tall ape that escapes from an oil tanker that was carrying it somewhere. It starts wreaking havoc in South Korea and after the military gets wind of the strange creature, they attempt to fight the giant beast off. Let me tell you now, this is by far the worst Korean monster movie on this list, if not the worst. Just look at the ape itself. The suit looks like it's ready to fall apart, especially in the opening act when you can clearly see the actor's shirt and arms. Now, to be fair, the opening scene I believe was shot last, but if you look throughout the movie, the suit never looks any better. And for being a 36 foot tall ape, people sure seem to have a hard time noticing he's around in broad daylight no less. The film's runtime is nearly an hour and a half long, but it definitely doesn't deserve to be that length. There are so many moments that overstay their welcome, and it doesn't do the movie any favors lingering on scenes like this. Taking a look at the poster, it shows artwork of the ape fighting a giant shark and python, which does happen in the movie, but not like you'd expect. The shark scene uses a ridiculous prop for the fight, and it's supposed to be a clear nod to Jaws, which was still a big movie at the time. As for the so-called giant python scene, well, just take a look. That wasn't an outtake, that's the real scene from the movie. A snake was actually flung towards the camera. And that's not the only time something's hitting the camera, or we're seeing extras in the background who are just watching the movie with us, or hearing someone yell cut right before a scene ends. Cut. There's just so many mistakes sprinkled throughout the movie. In fact, check out IMDB's goof section. It's amazing how many errors there are, and this probably isn't even all of them. In conclusion, I hate this movie. At first I did anyway. But after giving it a rewatch, I actually don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's a terrible movie, but I think it's in a so bad it's good kind of way. I laughed more in my second viewing than I did my first, and it's probably because I went in knowing it was a bad movie. I mean, before I watched the film, I only knew about the infamous flipping the bird scene, which is funny even on its own. However, despite that, I still wouldn't recommend the movie only because of the large amount of padding throughout the film could cause a viewer to lose interest very fast. Not to mention the story is just heavily unstructured, especially on times when the movie just focuses on the 3D gimmick. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this film is in 3D. The Flying Monster from 1984. It also goes by this name which I tried but just can't pronounce. Anyway, I had a problem running into this film. You see, this movie has never gotten any type of home video release, or at least not that I know of. I say that because one site I did find some info mentioned a VHS release, whether that's true or not I can't say. I didn't even know this movie was a thing until I heard about it from the audio commentary on the Young Gary Blu-ray. Even then this movie is just hard to find anything on, and its super generic title doesn't do me any favors when looking up stuff for it. What I've had on in the background is a 4 minute clip of the movie, which is one of the very few things I can find on the film. I don't know exactly who the title monster is supposed to be. It might be Terrachillus here. Oh, if you're wondering if that's the creature's name, it isn't. That's its name from the return of Ultraman. In fact, the monster, no, the scene itself is right from Ultraman. All the monsters in their scenes are from various tokusatsu shows. The scenes like this with the egg I think is original footage, I don't know. All I can say is this movie, if you can call it that, probably wasn't going to be good anyway. I mean how could it be good if you just jumble random monster clips together? Probably for the best this one stays obscure. 